What is going on guys? Thank you for joining me for another Christianous YouTube video. We are getting ready for Machop Community Day tomorrow. We're going to be doing Community Day a little bit different. Um, nothing huge, but a different environment for sure. So I wanted to kind of get some of it out of the way now and kind of show you guys what we can be expecting for Machop Community Day. So <clears throat> as I've been saying in almost every other video, you need to be stocking up for Machop Community Day. Um, let me show you real quick where I'm at with my item bag. I can hold 1,150 items. I currently have 932 items in here. We're going to go ahead and get rid of all of these potions. I don't need any of them. We're not going to be battling. Uh, the primary focus is going to be on catching as many shiny Machop as possible. There we go. And we'll get rid of a bunch of these as well. There we go. So now we are at 855 out of 1150. Let's take a quick look at how many Pokeballs I've got here. So I've got 250 for Red Bulls. And those are the regular Pokeballs, the only ones that work with the Go Gotcha Watch. So it's good I've got a lot of those. I've got 16 Great Balls, which are kind of the least preferred Pokeball of them all. Um, it does not have the highest catch rate, and it does not work with the Go Rate, with the Go Watch. Um, we've got 85 Ultra Balls. We're going to be set up at a spot with a couple Poke Stops, but I still want to go in with a bunch of Poke Balls because these stops won't refresh as fast as we're going to be throwing these Poke Balls. So I'm going to open up a bunch of gifts before 11 o'clock tomorrow, restock a little bit more. I've got a Poke Stop here right outside my house. Give that a spin. And we are going and getting ready to catch as many Shiny Machop as we can. I've only got the one. Let's take a quick look at it here. Shiny and plus Machop. Boom, there he is. So this is the only one I've got here. He is lucky, which is awesome. Um, but we're going to need to get a bunch more, and you can never have too many. Hopefully I can re replace my entire team of maxed out Machops or Machamps with new shiny great IV ones. That would be an awesome goal. This is a great Pokemon to be hunting for. Um, he's great for raids. He's great against Go Rocket leaders. You're going to want a bunch of these and definitely save your highest ones because you can trade them and they evolve for free. So um, if you get a Machop from your friend um, and it's bad for them, you get it from them, you re-roll the IVs. It could be better. It could be lucky, but it will definitely evolve for free into Machamp. So that's an awesome thing to know. And we've got some bonuses I want to cover before we get ready for tomorrow. The first thing, I didn't know this was happening. Um, there's going to be an increased trade range during this event. And actually, it will last from Friday, January 15th, which I guess that's already started, at 11 a.m. until Monday, January 18th at 11 a.m. So we have all of Community Day today. We have tomorrow and we have the very early morning of Monday to trade with whoever you want, which is awesome considering the free evolution I just told you. And that being said, let's go up here, take a quick look at Straight to the Top Machop, the paid Community Day event. Now, I'm not going to go over all of these or all the tasks with you, but I'm going to go over the rewards. That way you guys will know for next Community Day if this is something you want. And remember, if you... If you already got your Pokemon Go Kanto Tour ticket, you should already have this research line for free. So stage one will give you 1,000 Stardust, an Incense, an additional Machop encounter. You will get, by completing stage two, you will get 10 Pokeballs, an Incense, 15 Great Balls, and then stage three will give you 10 more Pokeballs, another Incense, and a Rocket Radar. Once you complete all those, you will have stage 4, which is just claiming a bunch of rewards. It's 4,000 Stardust, 2,500 XP, 5 Silver Pineapp Berries, um, 2,000 additional Stardust, a couple Brick Candies, and a Machamp Encounter. However, I don't think the Machamp can be shiny. So, this gives you a couple additional encounters, and those Incense, uh, during this event, they will last longer. They will last 3 hours per Incense used. So those three should last you the entire event. That's all you're really going to need. That being said, um, I'm really excited. I think I've prepared pretty well for this, but I wanted to kind of just show you the bonuses we're going to be working with that we haven't covered in the guide. 
That being said, I'm going to meet up with Ben tomorrow and we're going to take off the video from there. So I will see you in a couple minute in a couple seconds for you, but I'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys. So it is Machop Community Day now. Uh, we got some spawns here. We're going to try and see if we can get a shiny during our recording because we never end up doing that. Um, we have gotten a couple so far. Uh, I am playing my fiance's account today as well because she's busy working. Uh, one Machop got away from her on that one. And then one got away from me because the Pokemon Go watch actually let it go. So that kind of sucks. Not shiny. Just want to get one more. All right, we've kind of cleared up this spot. So we're going to go ahead and do some of our ghost snapshots. Oh, there's another Machop. Not shiny. Um, but yeah, uh, this is another one of those events where you can do the Pokemon Go snapshots and get additional Pokemon encounters. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to click the little picture in the upper right hand corner. Boom. All right, and that gets photobombed by a Machop. So that should spawn one right there, not shiny. So we're gonna go ahead and catch this guy and repeat until we find a shiny boy. One more encounter. I'm not sure how many of these it is. It might be three or five. Um, never gotten a shiny off of the snapshot encounters but hopefully today's the day because I love the shiny Machop and we're not getting any right now. So we're only an hour or two. I'll keep you guys updated as we go along, but let's take a quick look at what I've caught already. You can see these four shinies right here, 452, I think he's a two star, one star, 85, one star, 428, one star, and a 546, zero star. So hopefully um, with the second half of the event, we're gonna start getting some actually good ones but I'm not really gonna hold my breath on that one. Anyway, I'll see you guys later when we check in with hopefully some more shinies. All right, guys, we're about halfway through the event. For us right now, it is 1.48, so we've got a couple hours left. And uh, the shiny luck for me right now, it's getting better, but we're not quite where we wanna be since the last time I checked in with you guys. I caught a couple here. Um, I'm now sitting at eight shiny machops. Oh, <laughs> and I just go plus one. <laughs> Literally while we were recording, right as we started, we go plus this 115. So that's very cool. Awesome. All right. Zero stars, but that's awesome. So now we're at nine. Hopefully I wanted to get close to 30 by the end of the event. I don't know if that's really going to happen uh, with these numbers, but Shiny Machop's pretty great. Uh, ben, what has your luck been like today? <laughs> Twenty-one. <laughs> so uh, I'm getting close to the thirty goal. I mean, that's one of us. So, like I said earlier in the video, guys, uh, you can when you trade the Machop, it evolves for free. Uh, a shiny Machop is a special trade you can only do once a day, obviously. But uh, Ben getting so many of them might work out in my favor as well. Um, and then even with the the regular ones. Um, just trade them, I'll see if you can re-roll them and get something good and then the free evolve, so uh, won't be too bad. Um, I'm seeing a lot of zero ones, so kind of nice to re-roll them. Um, see if you can get some IVs uh, near like 115.15 uh, to 515.15, because then they'll be good for PvP. Uh, that's what I'll be re-rolling most of mine for, so, uh, to get it ready for PvP. Yeah, definitely. Um... 22. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Ideally, I'd like to get some shinies that are equivalent to what I have for my Machamp team already, but it doesn't look like that's going to work out because these IVs are kind of garbage. But like he said, uh, the ones that aren't shiny, you can do as many per day. So I'm keeping a lot of the 950 and pluses uh, just to get a high CP on that trade. Uh, but obviously, uh, double check the IVs because uh, the highest IV isn't always the best to have, especially if you're going to start using it for PvP. Kind of just looking at everything, keep the high CPs, even if some of the, uh, the IVs are junk on the high CP ones. Um, evolve it, 
and they're good for raids. Um, they're they're a good budget raid team. Um, we run into a lot of things that Matt Champ typically finds its way in there. So um, just because the IVs are a little bit kind of junky, but huge CP, keep one or two of those so that way you can kind of build up on your raid teams. Um, I thought it, oh um, with your shinies. Um, I don't, me personally, I'm probably only going to evolve three or four today uh, to get the Community Day move. I'm not sure on what uh, the move is going to look like. Um, I don't think it's going to have any uh, potential for raid purposes because there are so many other dark Pokemon that are going to be better. So you don't need a bad champ with a dark move for raids. Um, I think it should have some viability in the PvP. Um, so I'm going to be curious to see what that looks like. Um, so don't rush to evolve everything right now um, on your shinies. Like Chris and I, we might just trade um, a couple of the shinies, um, you know, over the next couple of days. That way they evolve cheaper and then we'll um, be able to put counter dynamic punch on it um, or cross chop and make them a little bit more viable, I think. Uh, so don't go burning through all your candies to try to get the community day moves on all of your shinies because I don't think you need it. I'm going to go three or four um that i really care about and then everything else don't really need it yeah absolutely and don't evolve them all through because if this move does end up being good which you know it might have its place but it might it doesn't seem like it's going to be the best but if they make changes and it's suddenly a valuable move to have we'll have another chance at getting it you might have to wait till december of this year but there'll be more chances to get it um if you don't even want to use the elite tms for it so just keep that in mind um there's not a whole lot to say this is a great move right now compared to what Machamp already knows. Yeah, if, if there are other um, Hound Dooms, um, your Dark Rides are obviously gonna be your, or, or um, Tranitar, they're gonna be the better dark attackers for raid purposes. Um, but in raids, it's uh, 110 damage for 60 energy. Um, it does lack the stab um, bonus for the attack, but that's still a huge chunk. Um, I think if you time it right, it should stand up against a lot of your, um, uh, some of your, your psychic Pokemon. Um, so it would be kind of interesting to see what, if it does find its place uh, somewhere in the Ultra um, Master League. Well, that being said, uh, judging by how the Shinies have been going so far, um, I'm readjusting my goal to maybe 20 by the end of the day. And if I go above that, then I'll just be glad. But realistically, I think 20 is about where we're going to end. Ben might get 35 or 40 <laughs> with the way he's going. But uh, like I said, it's about 2 o'clock. Um, so we're going to keep hunting a little bit. And uh, we'll let you know if we get anything cool or if we get some 100% or anything worth mentioning. So we'll see you guys in the next clip or whenever we see you. All right, guys, we are wrapping up Pokemon Go Community Day. We caught a bunch of shiny Machops. I'm really excited. We caught some good ones, some not so good ones. We ended up with 30 shiny Machops, which is awesome. You know, uh, 30 is kind of a lot of shinies to have of one Pokemon. Um, but Machop is a great one. Like I said, great for raids, great for battling um, Team Go Rocket leaders. It's, it's just really useful and it's a really cool shiny. I like it a lot. Uh, so this is kind of the one that I'm okay getting 30 shinies on. And we almost didn't. We caught our last three in the last 10 minutes. So it was very, very close. Fortunately, we were able to do that. Um, we're gonna kind of end out the day here with a real quick Gibble raid. Uh, I'm close to my house. I'm separated from Ben. Uh, but Ben is gonna be joining me in on this Gibble raid. So hopefully we can end with maybe another shiny. Well, that would be super cool. Uh, overall, it was a really great event and I should have told you guys this earlier, but when these events come up with like extended incense duration, um, if you activate those incense, you can stack them beyond the event. So for example, uh, from a chop community day, uh, the incense lasts for three hours. Uh, around 450 I threw two more up so those two will last for six hours Machop community day has already ended so instead of getting two hours worth of incense with two incense um, I now have six hours 
So even if I don't spend all that time actually catching these incense Pokemon, um, I'm getting a lot more bang for my buck because I put those incense on at the right time. So that's a huge way you can benefit from Community Day, even if you're not participating in it for sure. Um, I still need to get the Scruppy, I still need the Glammeow, and I would also like the Voizel. So lots of things out there for me to chase, so hopefully those incense uh, for six hours will help me get that before the end of the Sinnoh event. Alright, let's get started with this Gibble Raid. I have not seen many of these... Um, I haven't seen many Gibble Raids since he's been in Raids. I think this is only the second one I've done, so that's pretty crummy. And my game is still glitching, so I can't actually deal damage, so it's awesome Ben is here, because I literally wouldn't be able to do this raid without him, uh, because my game doesn't work, apparently. So this is going to be CP765. Alright, let's see if we can get a shiny out of this. Alright, community day luck, let's go. <clears throat> no. Alright, so we're going to exit out of the game, restart go ahead and catch that uh, shiny or regular gibble. I wish it was shiny. Um, pulling that up now. Ben literally ended up with 60 shiny machops during this event. I don't know. Sorry, there's a fly. I don't know how that's possible. Um, by the time I hit seven, he already had like 15. So um, here we go. And then I'm going to throw a pinup berry at him. Hopefully this catch goes quick because I got to show you guys the Machops. Oops. There you go. Alright, uh, so after we finished our community day run, we ended up doing some trades and uh, we got two lucky Pokemon. Uh, only two lucky Machops, so nothing crazy. Um, one of them was good, the other one was kind of basement stats for a lucky trade. And I'll show you guys those here in a minute. If Gibble wants to be caught, to be fair, I am kind of trying to rush it. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to use a silver pineapple because why not? Boom! Great throw. Anyway, it was a really good event. I'm really excited about it. Next month's Community Day event is Roselia. Um, so I have to double check the details. I don't have all that information for you guys in this video. Let's see how good this guy is. Not great, but I'm not super excited about that. I'll participate, but not going as hard as I did for this one. Anyway, let's go take a look. I've cleared out most of the Machops that I got, but this is pretty much what we're looking at. We got this 208 Lucky. He's a 96%, pretty good there. Uh, this was our, nope, this was our other Lucky. Not very good at all. Still probably going to... I might actually transfer that one. As you guys can see though, uh, now I have 2,873 Machop candies and 239 extra large candies, which is amazing. It's almost enough to power it up. But if you use a friend to kind of do half of that and then you do the other half, it's more than enough to power them up all the way to level 50. And then as you can see, we've got a lot of shinies here. Just so many shiny Machops. Uh, so I'm very excited about that. I have to go through figure out which ones I want to power up um, But I don't know how like we were talking about earlier I don't know if I really need that move that we were talking about so I might hold off on evolving them But I am really happy with this community today for sure And like I said, uh, you can see on my screen here. I've still got five or five hours 25 minutes left on my incense and I only use two incense for that so that's very cool hopefully I can get some shiny Pokemon from that anyway guys I hope you had a great community day please let me know uh, how many shinies you got if you had enough it's not always about getting so many because sometimes so many is too much but let me know what you did for community day and what you're excited about for the next one anyway guys I will see you out in the next Chrysalanius YouTube video.